This game sucks. Don't you remember? No, first, no, come on. St you're having a good time in Titanic. You've only got, I mean, like, it's Chris, dramatic irony. Like, we know, spot, he's, we know he's only got three hours to live. Is the difference? Yes, it's spot the difference. Oh, the difference is that one's not sunk yet. <laughs> Jumptron. Today's topic of discussion, the animated children's film, Titanic, The Legend Goes On. Yeah, I don't even know where to begin with this one. First Titanic, now this. I'm forced to talk about the Titanic yet again. What can I say? I guess a true story about a bunch of people freezing to death really makes for some good media. Of course, why wouldn't it be? It's perfect material for a kid's film. Think of all the funny slapstick situations that could arise here. No, you, you know when you think about this, you think, how could it have happened? Well, now it's clear. I'm you know, trying. I'm trying. He to was going. Oh! He People was going fast, and he was drunk. People look back and say, "This couldn't happen to us today." Well, you look at this game; it makes you think otherwise. <laughs> you think? You, yeah. you think? We look at the history Titanic cyclical, and... baby. <laughs> Hey guy, I don't think the captain can hear you. What you're saying is interesting and all, but at this moment I think his brain is internally swelling. Hope everyone's ready for some laughs, huh? for some fun. Let's go on this uh, animated adventure together. Maybe by the end of it, we'll be laughing like two old ladies on the verge of death on a lifeboat. Huh? Could happen. Oh my god, Jesus, that's terrible! What? What are you two laughing at? What changed here? I'm glad this man's violent death brought you momentary joy and distraction from the sinking of your ship. Maybe they were just enjoying his uh, perfect 10 here. What sorrow I feel for these characters so close to my own heart. Red-haired lady, brown-haired guy, old woman one and two, currently drowning human, and of course 101 Dalmatian. 101 what? 101 what now? Pongo! Is that you? Hey, why save more people when you can save two dogs who will live for a collective three years after the end of this film? Wait, what? Why are there anthropomorphic animals? Every last one of them is based on some Disney or Don Bluth character. You got Granny from Looney Tunes, you got a Cinderella thing going on here with the main character. There's the Dalmatians, as previously discussed, the mice from American Tale, the crow from Secret Anim, Cheshire Cat from Alice in Wonderland, Belle from Beauty and the Beast, and the geese straight out of the Aristocats. And it goes on from there. I just really don't understand where they could have been coming from when they were making this. Ripping off a bunch of classic cartoon characters and putting them on the tight. Titanic? Is that all you have to say, Italian mouse? I suppose you're gonna forget about A, I, O, and you. Oh no, Angelica here dropped her things. Which seems to have a, a picture of herself inside it. I'll never forget you, me. This is yours! Oh, thanks. I, well, I must have dropped this. I, I really owe you one. Do you know something we don't? You got something to say? Why so devious? Wait a second. I recognize that voice. You're not really an old man! I knew it! He was the iceberg all along! Oh, okay. So let me get this straight. The crow, he stole the pin out of the uh, squirrel's hat there. Squirrel noticed, turned around, and then he left. And the significance of that... was? And cannot wait to get home, eh, muchachos? Boy, should I join you? I play wicked bongos, you know. Hey, listen, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to make you guys uncomfortable. I'll turn the movie off now if it helps. And uh, if you don't mind me, I'll be over here in the corner celebrating the death of my own innocence. Right, Papa? I can still hear the screams, Papa? You know there's something you should know, so I'm gonna tell you so. Working all day, now it's time to unwind. Kick back, relax, take a load off your mind. <laughs> there was no hint of this being a musical, and then all of a sudden the dog, the, the, the dog here, he comes and he starts rapping. Rapping hip-hop. Rapping in a style of music that won't be, be invented for some 70 years after this scene ends. All set against a modern-day Midtown Manhattan. Well... Listen, listen to me, rhyming dog. I too can play at this game. Party time, it's party time. Everybody's feeling fine. Dogs on the Titanic? She's sinking. The plot is sinking. Quick, hire the emergency riders. And at long last, our star-crossed lovers meet. And she instantly makes a pose as if she were trying to imitate what she saw someone do on the cover of Vogue. I don't think she realizes what she looks like there. I think in her head, it's looking a lot better. Paint me like one of your French boys. Paint me! Just like that, the next scene starts up with a new mouse? I don't remember this guy. He is holding an adorable tiny candle, though. 
Did you get that thing custom made? Eat up all you can, boys. You'll need your strength for the Mexican winter. I really have no idea who this mouse could be or why we're watching this, so let's just move on and pretend it didn't happen. Well, I've never had a proper family, so I've always dreamed of making one, but I don't want to rush things. I have a whole life ahead of me. Oh, that's nice. That's real nice. Wait, how does this movie end again? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't count on that whole life thing. No, not this. Wow, it's beautiful. The song that plays about them is already in total longer than the amount of time they've actually spent in each other's presence. I was too busy looking for someone. Are you gonna say something? You just not gonna reciprocate there? I don't even know your name. Will I see you at the reception tonight? That all depends if I get unstuck from being in five frames per second. I haven't worn this since my poor Francis took me to the opera for the first and last time. Oh, Granny. How heartwarming. Wait, first and last. <laughs> oh, hey, is that Uncle Francis back from the grave to give Granny one more night of fun? Oh, no. It's just two mice with a knife. I didn't get you to Whoa! go there. <laughs> How quaint! A raven fell through the exhaust grate in my cabin. No more nonsense! It's hers! Put it around her neck! Alright, I can see you serious! Just please leave me and my family out of this! Are you sure this is a photograph of my real mother? What? You weren't sure? I think this is one of those things you gotta be sure about. Oh, uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. I'm sorry, I'm just a little embarrassed of my sneezes. I think they make me look like a little scared boy. No, you know nothing about me. Nothing? What do you mean? I know, oh wait, no, you're right. I do know absolutely zero about you besides your name. In fact, I don't even think I know your name. You didn't tell me, you just walked away. Maybe we should just call this whole thing off or at least think it through. No, I can now see that that is not going to stop you either. What's going on here? How'd everyone get to a vantage point to watch this all at once? Nobody noticed they're being watched here? What a perfect scene, am I right? 10 out of 10. The movie's got to wrap up at some point now. Come on. <laughs> Come on, baby, I just want out. And they lived happily ever after as skeletons at the bottom of the ocean. Yeah, buddy, save that energy. Don't want to expend it before you get rowing. So William, the love interest, breaks a window with a wicker chair somehow and escapes the ship. All the while, Angelica seems unaffected by his suspected untimely death. Do you still have a picture in the locket? Yes. Ever since my mother put it around my neck as a baby. And then left you because she was forced to. Mother. Oh, God, no, please, no. Yes. But her dad, she said she'd find? And my father, too. I'll find them both. Nah, he's dead still. Or missing. Or worse, dead and missing. There he is, just in the nick of time. It's not him. Ah, false alarm. It's not William. Throw him back. Hang on. It's William! But then, in a joyous twist of fate, William is recovered. Where's William? Look at that! Where's William? What do you have, the brain of a baby? You don't got object permanence yet? The moment he's out of sight, he's just, whoosh, he's gone from your reality. No! Never mind! Close them! Throw me back! And on that day, they lived happily ever after. But just them. It was honestly pretty terrible for just about everyone else. Most of them perished, but at least the Mexican funny mice lived. Okay, I guess that's just a foreign name, but... Scarl? Carl? His name was so beautiful before the accident. So much potential. Who made me so ugly? The man, nay, the legend responsible for this is a guy named Camilo Teddy. I'll never let go. Of what you've done to me, that is, which is quite a lot, really. You're a terrible, terrible thing to the depths with you. Okay, so I suppose what you're telling me is that we should not make a game about the Titanic sinking. But what I have to show you right now defies explanation. An NES game based on Titanic, the movie. The movie? The movie! With any major commercial success, there's an inevitable influx of off-brand or unlicensed merchandise to capitalize on the hype. 
And apparently, James Cameron's 1997 film Titanic was no exception. We have a Chinese company to thank for blessing us with this game, specifically Shenzhen Nanjing, true prophets of our time. Titanic came out in 1997. I mean, the N64 and the PS1 were already out. Who was this meant to be marketed to? No, really, but moms, kids, anyone, but iceberg fans. It's not just ice. Well, let me just get in focus here. Dear God, it's an iceberg! Anyone at all, would you buy that? None of y'all wouldn't buy that! That's like making a game about the Pompeii volcano incident. Tap A quickly to not die as fast! With my thorough understanding of the film, I'm gonna say that Rose is probably the better option. Hey, but what can I say? I've always been a fan of certain doom. Let's go with Jack. For some reason, Jack's name has like a, a blood splatter on it. Is that supposed to be symbolic? Yeah, so far so good. I haven't even touched a controller yet. This is just what he does when you stand still. Wipes head, spits, turns around, repeat. All right, this is fantastic. What did I expect? You're just trying to get from one end of the map to the other while dodging rats and ghost barrels. Just another day on the Titanic, folks. I can't quite, I, I, I can't quite get on the crate here. Ah, God! Okay, died to a rat. Probably should have just waited to die the cool way, Jack, all right? It was it's coming in like 20 minutes. You blew it on a rat. Hey, I'm low on hearts. I better pick one up so the rat doesn't get me again. Oh, so hearts equals lifesaver? Then what equals heart? This sucks. <laughs> oh my god, there she goes. I have never experienced a continue screen that made me feel that guilty. I mean, it's my fault that happened. I did the Titanic. Do not give up. Do not be discouraged. You will be able to get out of here. It's not even poetic. It's just like they're on opposite balconies yelling practical advice to each other. For some of the games like this one, Titanic Adventure Out of Time, I can kind of see where they were coming from at least. The Titanic was sort of a mysterious event, so they tapped into that and created a point-and-click adventure mystery game about it. It's pretty atmospheric, but it has that old, quirky, 90s PC game vibe. You know the one. This one. It is good to see you up and about. You've been in your cabin the whole voyage. I bought the ticket, I'll do what I want. So thank God that's over! <laughs> I mean, it's over, right? There's not, there's not more, right? I mean, surely there weren't two companies crazy enough to do something like this. Right? There was one more company that made a game based off this Titanic movie craze. And it's not really possible to find it as a whole game, or at least I couldn't. It comes on this cartridge called the Super New Year 15-in-1 cart. Accurate name! Oh, let me tell you, it's a good thing they didn't misspell Leonardo DiCaprio's face! Oh my god, what is that? I bet you thought that was a typo, huh? The name of the episode? Hey guys, look! John made a mistake on the internet! I bet there's a bunch of comments down there already about it, but I'll tell you what. I wish that was a typo. Because no one wants something like this for mankind. The fact that this exists means we already lost. In 1912, there is a noble American girl, Rose. She tried to get away from her arranged married. At the same time, she met Jack, who is the young man on t <sighs> Since Rose made a friend with Jack, he lighted on her life. Yeah, based on that car scene from the movie, I think he might have lighted on a couple of her other things, too. They were also fall in love with each other. It made up a very touching and tragic love story. This is mostly just tragic. Well, they had to stay true to the film, didn't they? I mean, can you blame them? This is a story about love, not violence. Oh! Oh! Hey, Jack! I know the ship's sinking, but we gotta keep our cool here. You wanna add to the list of casualties? I don't think it was the iceberg that killed all those people. I think it was Jack. Oh, the first thing when I saw the movie, the first thing I said out the theater, I interrupted the whole group, I said, Where's the fighting? Oh, 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 the chef's fighting! Oh, the chef's mad. I'll tell you what, that's bad. Chefs are natural pacifists. In most games that involve burly men destroying everything, a health power-up would consist of something like a turkey leg or a roast chicken. But in this game, you pick up lobster and wine. The bougiest of beat-em-ups. 
Eventually, you get to fight a boss that's essentially if Mr. T was infused with Donatello from the Ninja Turtles. Now that's a pretty dangerous combo right there. All right, we're on the next level. No, all right, okay, hold the phone. Rats? Understandable. Bats? A bit weird, but I guess I can see. But cobras? Unless this ship was headed to a snake charming convention, this is absolutely unreasonable. I can hear the captain right now. Uh, yes, I'm looking out for icebergs, but currently I'm fending off a nest of cobras and a very aggressive man from Wisconsin. Also, I love when you punch the cobras. They react like they didn't even see it coming. They're just like, whoa, I'm out. That was a bad one. Ah, okay. The lifesavers try to kill you in this game. I'm pretty sure this is the literal opposite of what a lifesaver is named for and supposed to do? How did both of these games fail to use lifesavers as some sort of appropriate object? If, if you're asking me, that is proof of a grand deity right there, or maybe the proof of a lack of one? Oh yeah, that's right. I remember the part where Jack fights Herman Munster on top of a smaller ship on top of the Titanic. That was the best part. <laughs> Once you beat this guy, he's like, you have bested me. Here is the deed proving so. Man, 1910 times were weird. Is he, uh, is he reading a newspaper? Oh, he's drawing. Get it? Because he draws in the movie? Remember? This is definitely accurate to the movie. Remember? Paint me! This time around, we're playing as Rose, who's a geisha ninja, apparently. Oh, yeah. Come on. Get him. Get him, Rose. You're an independent woman. Can't forget the flying eggplants. Man, 1910 times were scary. When we have kids, we're sitting out on a beautiful summer's night. I'm going to look you in the eyes, Rose. I'm going to be like, remember when you beat up that fat guy who was trying to kill you with a shotgun and knocked Herman Munster off the Titanic a couple times? I'm glad we made it through that. Hey, you dropped this. Oh my god, back to the you you back to the ocean. Hello friends! I hope you enjoyed that compilation. It took me a little while to make, but it was worth it. It was a lot of fun. I enjoyed that. The uh, the clips were from John Tron's Titanic, the Titanic, The Legend Goes On, and an episode of Oni Plays where that John Tron had been on. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed all of that, and uh, if, if you leave a like and subscribe and whatnot, that really helps out my channel and other things. So thank you very much, and uh, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye. 2,000 years from now, there's going to be gothic <laughs> churches with Pikachus outside it's of it. It's probable.